Happy Sunday, everybody. It is Sunday, February 27th, um, just before 1.30 p.m. I have been doing chores around the house. I also got a couple more frames in some more for some more of the um, art pieces that have been hanging on the wall. I almost said prints, but those are originals. Um, I'm waiting for a frame for that one. And I've got to go find a frame for that one. Um, but anyway, yeah, I've been doing that. Bob is working on bills and taxes. So I'm staying out of his way. <laughs> um, I It's just after 10 a.m. on Monday, February 28th. It is dumping rain outside. It's not just pouring, it is dumping. We are getting gusts of rain. It's not even just gusts of wind. It is so strong outside. We have had 1.15 inches so far this morning, according to the weather app. That's a lot of rain. I don't know what it's gonna be for by the end of the day. And we're supposed to get rain until like next week. Yeah, next week. Like the whole week is gonna be rainy. What you're hearing, if you're hearing the rumbling in the background, rain and wind. Holy cow. Anyway. I It is Tuesday, March 1st, and it is 5.08 p.m. Yeah, p.m. Um, it hasn't been a super busy day, but the house cleaner was here today, and I worked on some sketching and watched some more of my show, new show that I'm binging right now. Uh, and, you know, just been a, other than get, having the cleaning lady here, just been a quiet day at home, but one in which I don't get much done because she's here cleaning, so... That's usually the case. Anyway, Bob worked very late last night and he didn't eat dinner until like after eight o'clock last night. So I think he's going to take off early in a few minutes and then we're going to go walking. Um, past that, I don't know what we're doing, but we're going to do at least that. I have to do today's daily drawings. I was thinking for a hot second that I forgot to do the March mood board, but we're doing Moody Mondays, the first Monday of the month which isn't today, today's Tuesday, so that's next week. But I probably will spend some time later this week or this weekend and get it done ahead so that I don't have to worry about it because that would be nice. The camera is like going off every five minutes. Once it's been Amazon, the rest of the time I'm thinking it's like the cat. I don't know, I don't think it's the babies from next door. I don't know what the heck is going on but it's going off every five minutes. Oh, it is the babies from next door right now. But yeah, it's just crazy. Anyway, I was right. Bob took off a little early. It's not even dark out yet and we're out walking. Like that's shocking. Anyway, we're gonna go get some steps in. Otherwise, like I said earlier, it's been kind of a chill day. Bob's been working all day. It's hard for me to get much done on days like this because Letty is here all day <laughs> and it's just her and we have a big house. So I just try to stay out of her way. <laughs> anyway, all right, we're gonna go see what we can see. Check out the neighborhood. I'll be back. You hear that? Yeah, I'm guessing spring is here because the bullfrogs are out. 
They are so loud. All right, we're gonna go home and have dinner. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday morning, March 6th. I'm March 6th, holy cow, March 2nd. Um, I had, um, I need to go run errands, but I had some things I needed to do first this morning before I did that. Um, I need to change out these four little mood boards here um, from 2021. Um, and I had kind of an assignment when I told my counselor I had these hanging up here um, as sort of art focus inspiration. She's, she and I both thought it would be interesting to change them out to something that was maybe artistically inspiring, but also positive thinking, which I could use way more of in my life. Um, so I did that this morning. So I created four more mood boards and um, we're gonna take these down. I'm not gonna throw them away. I'm gonna put them in a journal or something somewhere for reference and um, we're gonna hang up the new ones right now. the idea of changing these out maybe monthly and um, creating a journal um, with them to reference back to at the end of the year. I kind of like that, but um, finding one that these are going to fit into, that might be interesting. Um, so anyway, I'm going to answer text messages I'm now just now getting from my sister and I'm going to go run my errands and get that stuff done. I'll bring you with me, I'll be back. Came all the way over to CVS, which for us is inside of our Target store to pick up my medication for my colonoscopy, only to find out that all of the registers in the pharmacy are down and all of the regular registers other than self-checkout in Target are also down and they have no other backup way for you to pay for, therefore pick up your prescription. Not to mention they were out of half of what I needed on my list. Like they didn't even have it. So I'm going to head over to go get some coffee and then I'm gonna go um, to a different store, I guess, and get the other couple things I needed. But yeah. Did I leave CVS? Then they called me and said, our registers are up. What the hell? <laughs> I'm on my way um, to go get some coffee, like run other errands. So I guess I'll stop back by Target on the way back to the house and hope their registers are still running. I don't, let's hope the rest of my day goes okay and that I can find what I need to on the shelves because yeah, that's just a weird way to start my errand running. All right, I'll be back. I thought I did the mood boards before I left the house because we're now zero of two. So my normal source for the coffee that we like, we are, have a particular brand that we like, um, is out. And I thought for a hot second, maybe they weren't even carrying it anymore. So I checked with one of the employees. She says, no, looks like we're still carrying it. We just don't have any, which has honestly been hit or miss just anyway. And now I have to go back to Target because they called and said that prescription is ready. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to stop at one more store, see if I can find what I need. And then we'll head back to Target, I guess. Target CVS. All right, I'll be back.
Okay, the clips you just saw are me working on this new journal. I do mood boards for a couple of different projects that I have since the beginning of last year. And I've done different things with them, but I finally decided to corral them all in one place that is not Mr. Electronics back there. So I printed all the mood boards out from my Facebook group, A Life of Art and Self-Expression. If you want access to them, go join the Facebook group. The link is in the link tree list down below. Um, I also am one of the three artists in the Artsy Trio here on YouTube, and we have a Facebook group for that too. That link is also down below, check it out. Um, that's fun art flat, uh, arm flat, isn't it? <laughs> um, anyway, I decided to print all the mood boards and make myself a sort of a, re a reference book of them for when I'm feeling a lack of inspiration or um, feeling a little bit down. They're all positive affirmation mood boards, positive thinking, um, art, creative art. So I have taken a composition notebook, as you saw, and I've decorated the cover and I have glued and taped them in and see so anyway I am loving it already so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep doing that this year I'm gonna as I create more mood boards I'm gonna keep doing it and the mood boards seem to be a thing that I'm doing and I'm now also doing them for as I said earlier for my mental health and well-being and um, as inspiration to keep on track with that so they're all going to be glued into this book so I don't know how I got in this kick, but you know, it is what it is and I'm not mad at it. So, all right, I'll be back. Good morning. It is Thursday morning, March 3rd. It's just before 8.30 a.m. It's like 8.25 or something. I just realized I forgot to get yesterday's mail. <laughs> Oops, so I'm gonna go get it now. I have a counseling appointment in about a half an hour at nine o'clock. I think I'm all set up for that. Um, probably grab a cup of bone broth if I have time. <sighs> anyway, and then do some art. I'm gonna go for a walk. Bob has his Masonic Lodge meeting tonight, so uh, I will probably go for a walk by myself this afternoon, get some steps in. Oh yeah, there's now. Um, mostly junk, but yeah. Anyway, so my key won't come out. All right, so stuff to do, places to be, things to see, hopefully. It's sunny and clear out, but a little bit cold. So as you saw, it looks like it was cold enough and damp enough last night. The sun's beating down on the fence and steam is coming off the fence as the water's drying, I guess. That's interesting. You know, when I got up this morning, it was blue skied and sunny. I had my counseling meeting, which went well. I sat and had some bone broth and my fiber drink and calcium afterwards. Watched a couple of YouTube videos. It's now just before lunch and I'm gonna head out for a walk before I have said lunch. Close that mailbox um and it's that color outside the heck anyway we're gonna go for a walk as i said earlier bob has a meeting tonight so i don't have a walking buddy and i would rather oh that's pretty i would rather walk during the day than at night by myself and waterfall back there little waterfall here there's a little one you can kind of see in between creek that runs by our house. Anyway, we're going to go for a walk, get some steps in. I'm tempted to go thrifting because I haven't been in a while. I do like thrifting. I don't think today's a day to good that do that because I think the shopping thing might be a response to emotional stress and trauma. And 
I want to go thrifting because I enjoy thrifting and not because it's my response to the counseling session this morning. Does that make sense? All right. Anyway, I also found out about the 54321 grounding technique today, which I will be trying. I will uh, put the name of it down below, but you can just Google 54321 grounding technique. If you have panic attacks, anxiety, maybe it'll help you. I don't know. I'm going to try it. So anyway, I found some pre free printables on uh, Google and... I'm gonna, I made a couple of little cards, one for upstairs, one for downstairs, and we'll try it. All right, let's go get some steps and see what we can see. I'll be back. It's 12.08 p.m. on Friday, March 4th. Oh. Bob and Rebecca are headed back to California, as I said earlier, to celebrate his mother's 93rd birthday. Everybody tell Betty Aaron's happy birthday. Um, I have no problem telling you all any of that because by the time you all see this, they'll be back. Anyway, we're going to go to the bank and then go pick up the daughter and then head to the airport. And then I have to run at least one errand all the way home. So we're going to go see what we can see, and I'll be back. put everything away still haven't had lunch yet and it's almost three o'clock and at this point I'm thinking lunch is going to be dinner I'm kind of debating just taking a bottle of water or juice with me from the fridge and going for a walk and then coming back and having something to eat I think that's a good idea let's get to it shall we Well, at least until the pond dries up again. What are you gonna do? All right, let's get going. Cause now I'm really hungry. It is Saturday morning, February 5th. Um, it's just about 9 a.m. I am going to be getting ready to go thrifting this morning, uh, at least for a little bit. I have 
two or three favorite stores I like to go look at, and then I've got to stop over at Fred Meyer really quick. I should have gotten more coffee creamer at the store when I was there the other day, but I didn't. Thought we had enough, but we don't. Anyway, I also, for the second time in about as many months, broke another sugar bowl. At this point, I think I just need a plastic one. I keep dropping them. I don't know what the deal is. Well, part of the deal is I grab them with this hand. Since rotator cuff surgery, I never recovered all of the feeling in this hand. And so I forget, I grab things with this hand and then I drop them. That's part of the problem. So anyway, I broke another one. And so I've mostly cleaned up the mess, but I'm gonna take a shower and before I leave, I'm gonna set our robot vacuum, AKA Hazel, to um, do the floors and hopefully she'll catch any glass shards that I missed. And because anybody who's dropped anything and broken it on your floor, you know, there's like seems to be an endless amount of little teeny tiny shards that you just, yeah, anyway. I can tell it's gonna be an interesting day already. Plus Wiley Coyote was by last night, just before midnight. So that's a thing. Yeah. All right, I'll be back to get myself dressed and showered and all of that stuff. Um, without breaking anything else. Bonus points for me. Um, despite the fact that I um, had the house to myself last night and was able to get a lot of extra drawing done and um, do um, some daily, of course my daily practice and some a bunch of stuff, I forgot to post any of it last night. So I did that already first thing this morning. I know, like, honestly. Um, so that's done. I think I've just checked on social media. So then I think what I'm going to do is go, oh, that doesn't actually go there. Anyway, I'm going to go, <laughs> I'm going to pick up a couple things here around the house, do my breakfast dishes, and then we're going to go thrifting for a little bit. And I guess look for a plastic container to keep my coffee sugar in because evidently I can't be trusted anymore with anything breakable. So anyway, all right, it's I'll be, be back. an interesting day and I'm gonna just take it easy on myself because I also forgot to put the breakfast dishes in the dishwasher before I left. I mean, they'll still be there when I get back, but I did mean to do that. So now I'm here at Goodwill a few minutes early before they open. So I'm gonna have to wait about 10 minutes or so. It's just, you know, <laughs> I don't know. All right, I'll be back. There's some diehard thrifters in the neighborhood because there's at least three people, oh no, take that back, four people <laughs> that I can see without looking around too much. Oh, five, I see one behind me. There's a bunch of people here waiting in the parking lot with me for them to open. So yeah, and there's four cars waiting in line to donate. Uh, speaking of which, I have some donations in the back. I'm gonna give them to one of the other thrift stores, but yeah, anyway. <laughs> All right, plastic sugar bowl, it's on my list today. I don't know if there is such a thing or just a cute plastic container with a tight fitting lid. If I can't find one thrifting, I'll just stop at Fred Meyer on the way home. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, I'll be We're back. We're done now and headed home. It is just before lunch. Probably good timing. The stores are starting to get real busy. Um, I think I've mentioned it before on the vlog, but in case I haven't, and it was in a conversation with somebody, because at this point I get confused who I've told what to. Um, I have lost so much weight, I need new clothes. I know I shared with you all that we did a big giant closet purge. I had an instance where I was walking from our bedroom to the coffee pot, which is just, but our bedroom and the, and the kitchen are both downstairs. Anyway, it wasn't a long walk, but my pajama pants fell off on the walk. And, um, I realized I've lost so much weight, like none of my clothes fit. So it led to cleaning out a closet, and, uh, the closets and drawers. And then my husband also decided he, he had some things he needed to get rid of too. And anyway, six giant bags of clothes later. Um, I was gonna drop these frames off for donation, I forgot. Anyway, um, I had some I, clothing items that I needed to replace because I did wear them a lot and Obviously they were too big, I couldn't do that anymore. Um, 
some of which I was able to find new, but some of which I just can't or didn't want to. I had a really cute denim skirt I really like to wear often, especially in the summertime. And I had a couple of black skirts that were my business slash funeral skirts. I know that's a little bit morbid, but yeah, anyway, you get to a certain age, you have to have those kind of clothing items in your closet. Um, for some reason at regular shops around here, like skirts are just not a thing, I don't know. So thrifting for them. Plus I don't wanna spend $30 on something, especially like the denim skirt that I might rip or get paint on or like, I'm not known for being super great with my clothing. Um, anyway, I found three black skirts today and a denim skirt. One of the black skirts is corduroy, so it's very casual, which be, would be a great alternate sort of thing to the denim skirt and yay and I spent less than $25 for all four of them <laughs> so like I couldn't get a skirt for that price even if I could find one in the store so look at the anyway. house it's for sale on our street it's very cute I like ours better it's a little bigger it's a little more open we like open concept anyway I'm gonna go see if I can get some steps in it won't account for all my steps because, hello, forgot to put my Fitbit on this morning, among other things. I don't know if I mentioned that already yet. Anyway, we're going to get some steps in. See if we can get a few today's views. Hashtag Oregon Life Pictures and I'll be Always back. a great walk when you get to make friends with the neighborhood dogs. Just saying. All right, let's get going. I'll be back at night and I am working on finishing my sketchbook. I have one more page to do and I'm waiting for this one to dry. Anyway, I'll be posting pictures of the pages I've done um, on my social media in the future. Um, so uh, follow me on Instagram or Facebook. Go, jo go join me over on Facebook. Um, patrons get an early sneak peek and I've been giving them the photos I'm drawing from to see if they want to do anything with the same photo and what they come up with. So if you want to see what kind of art I'm doing, get a sneak peek on some stuff. There's a few projects I'm not really sharing how the how to publicly unless you're a patron. So anyway, join Patreon if you want to see all of that stuff and support the free content here on YouTube. They also have their own private YouTube channel, just FYI. All right. That's it for the minute. It is uh, getting later in the evening. I still have to do my word brain puzzles and my daily sketching, but I really, really, really want to get this sketchbook done. And I don't have anything else to do. So Bob gets home tomorrow and Rebecca, so it'll be back to normal, things as usual. And that is great. And I have had a good day today, a good couple of days. It's been nice to just sit and chill and do some art. Um, but yeah, I'll be glad to have him be home. So anyway, that's it for this week. I hope you guys have had a great one. And um, that if you haven't, you have some care and support for whatever is going on with you. Don't be afraid to reach out to professionals, friends, family. Um, if you need it, there's no shame in that. I certainly am doing that. So anyway, that's it for right now. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check out that video description for all the relevant links. Most of my stuff is in the link tree list of links, which is down below. And uh, yeah, leave any questions, comments, or concerns down there too. Uh, I'd love to have a conversation. That's it for right now. Go out and have a great day. Have a great week. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.